Okay, today I thought we'd play with, well you've got your mechanized robot, which we're familiar with the name for Robbie, but this is the mystery action mechanized robot. Most of us just call it the Robbie Jeep toy. This is the reproduction that was made back in the 1990s by Mike's Train House. And uh, I already covered their version of the Atomic Robot, or Mr. Atomic, I mean. And the prices on those went down because Saka 10 did a reproduction exactly the same time, too. But I don't believe the prices ever went down on this one. I don't remember exactly what it was. I could look it up. Maybe I'll look it up. Seems like it was five or six hundred bucks, so. But the, uh, the originals are, are tough to find in any sort of decent condition. Normally, uh, the Robbie itself, since it comes off when it's in the box, would be missing, or the dome would be cracked if you had the Robbie. These little windshield pieces here, they're always broken. Of course, then you get your ones with the, with the lithos all messed up and everything like that. But you're on off there. It's your battery box. Stamped inside the battery box is the uh, uh, MTH, Mike's Train House. That's the only markings on it. To bump and go, as this rotates, <clears throat> the windshield lights will turn off and on. Well, let's just turn it on. So depending on where this is, you can get that. And the robot will kind of follow. See when that's facing there. So the robot will be facing the direction that it's going to be going. I guess we need more room to uh, play with it, so before we go down to the floor, we might as well take a peek at the box. Not a whole lot going on here that you can't uh, see in one quick view. Nothing on the inside. <clears throat> Alright, any other marks on it? Alright, let's, uh, let's relocate on the floor. See what we can get going here. If I get... Get that white square in the camera's field of view. So you give me a rough idea where I can put this guy. There he goes. It's a pretty good bump and go toy. You know, sometimes they're not very responsive. This one's very responsive. It doesn't have any other sounds or anything. So, I mean, in that respect, it's uh, a little bit on the boring side, probably, for, for kids. As far as collectors go, it's very desirable for the large size. So these seats fold down for when it's in the box. The uh, robot unplugs and comes up off for when it's in the box. But uh, there you have it, the 1990s reproduction by Mike's Train House of the Robbie Jeep or if you will, mystery action mechanized robot. <laughs>